Hey guys, Draper here, and welcome back to. Ouch. Welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. Uh oh. Uh, do we have a power block? We do not. I wasn't paying attention. That's my bad. I probably can't jump on those. Nice. Oh, that's my bad. I wasn't. I need to pay more attention. Got him. Not bad. Oh, geez. No, wait, don't jump. That's my bad. I messed that one up. Okay. Nope. Got him. Cool. There, could you see it? That big tree. 
That's what I was telling you about. That's where we punies live. That's home. Uh, of course, it's not just us in there. In the tree. Lots of jabbies and kiters, too. Well, anyway, Mario, follow me. Okay. All right. The great tree. Uh oh. Uh, well, take a look. This door wasn't here before. Someone just installed it. And I can't open it. I thought I could finally save everyone. I'm a fool. Hey, don't take it so hard. It does look sturdy, though. What do we do now? Uh... Um... Hmm... Um... Hmm... Hmm... Got it! Mario, over here! Oh, okay. Long ago, the puny elder told me about a secret entrance somewhere around here. We'll get in that way. Uh, problem is, I doubt finding it is going to be easy. I mean, it won't it be labeled secret entrance. Not to be a worrywart, but how in the heck can we find a secret entrance? Well, it's hidden by this invisible thingy. We need to find and remove the thingy. Boy, but removing a normal thingy sounds tough enough, let alone an invisible one. Uh... Oh, got it! Flurry! Surely Madame Flurry's powers can help us. Flurry's a refined and dignified lady who lives in these woods. The Elder says she's a wind spirit who can wield the powers of air with ease. You see where I'm going with this? She can use the wind power to blow the thingy away. Well, it won't hurt to try. Flurry lives in the deepest corner of the woods, so let's head back in the direction we came from. Alright. Oh, these woods are the most wonderful in the world. In all the world. Yes, indeed. Building a house here was just the finest idea I ever did have. Oh my, yes! This place is so different from the bright flash bulbs of the world I'm used to. Such peace, this negative image of the real world suits my body and soul. But what's even better is that I, Madame Flurry, grow ever more lovely here. Plus, those squishy, adorable little punies that live in that tree are so nice to me. But I suppose if I stay here too long, I'll begin to crave hustle and bustle before long. Oh, oh my, it's happening even as I speak. Already I feel the need for drama. That moment of exhilaration when the spotlight shines down on the stage, on me. Truly, I was born to be an actress for the ages. It's settled then, I shall rise again. But before I make my stage comeback, I simply must whip my body and mind into shape. I'll just have to put on some makeup and make my beauty even more beautiful. Wait a moment. No, it's gone. Gone, I tell you. My, my. Huh. We head east from here. We'll see Flurry's place in no time. All right. Hello there. Hey, 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 yo! I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. Oh, okay. Oh, really? Huh. Well, thanks. Thanks, anyway. Damn it.
<laughs> Can't catch a break, huh? Got it. Oh boy. Oh, wait. Nice. Huh? to uh <laughs> we've almost gotten to another level Honey syrup, I guess. Got him. A perfect mount. Madam 
Flurry's house. Um, excuse me. Um, maybe she isn't here. I wonder if she went for a walk in the woods. Hmm. Madam Flurry, hello? If you're here, say something. Eek. No, out of the question. You mustn't come in here. Uh, Madam Flurry, are you there? Is that you? What are you doing? Oh, wait a moment. Those darling, squishy little footsteps. Is that you, Punio? Oh, it's been an age since I saw you last. You poor dear. Is there something you need? Uh, well, the thing is, we have a problem. The Great Tree's entry hole is blocked. My puny friends are trapped inside, so they're in a pickle, and Mario needs these crystal stars. It's a train wreck, really. That's why we need you to come with us and find the secret entrance, Madam Flurry. Oh, is that all, dearie? You came all the way here just for that. My adorable little punio. You know I would do anything in my power to help you. However, lamentably, I'm in a bit of a bind myself. I just cannot come out. Gee, is something wrong? It's somewhat embarrassing, but I never go out with my without my favorite necklace. Uh-oh. I just can't find the blessed thing. I suspect I dropped it on my daily constitutional. I'd be simply scandalized if anyone saw me without it, so I shan't be going out. I absolutely must have that necklace to highlight my beauty, and that's that! Gee whiz, that must be some nice necklace, huh? Hang on. You know what? It's weird. I'm sure I just heard someone talking about a necklace. What's that? Do speak up. You, whoever just spoke, do you have some clue as to my necklace's whereabouts? If you do, you must help me. Please, be a dear. Find it and bring it back to me. After that, I will most certainly join you and help my squishy little friend, Punio. Don't worry, Madam Flurry. I'm sure Mario can find your necklace. Word is, he's super. You can do it, right, Mario? Sure. Great, it's decided then. Let's go find it. I'm sorry to trouble you so. No, no problem. You're no party member. <laughs> if I remember correctly, she's a party member, so I'm gonna... <clears throat> I'm happy to help. Beldum, I told you, you blame me for losing the sketch, but you had it. Silence, you twit. Now's not the time to get hung up on stupid details. We must study this sketch. Wow, this Mario guy looks so manly. Check out that bushy mustache. How handsome. You know something, though, my lovelies? I swear I've seen this gentleman before. Ah, he's Mr. Mustache. Gah, gah. Ah, I don't believe this, Vivian. This is, without a doubt, all your fault. I'll be dealing out some strict punishment later, my dearie. Oh, yes, I promise you that. What? That's not fair. You're the one who had the... Silence, you squirrel brain. Don't you cop that insolent attitude with me. Ugh, this is not fair. And about that necklace, I was thinking of returning it to you, but no more. Oh. And since you caused this problem, you have to figure out how to find this Mario chump. Oh, God. Well, uh, they're in luck, since I'm on my way back <laughs> right now. I, I'm just going to need that necklace. Yeah, I know, I know. I didn't mean to... Ah, I 
see. Gotcha. Seven star points. Nice. All right. Quake Hammer. And that got rid of all three of them. Perfect. Uh, now you have to just head back. This shouldn't be too bad. So sorry. That didn't kill him. Dang it. I did not do well. Got him. Four points isn't bad. Honestly though, right now I'm trying to avoid fights. Damn it! You motherfucker. Okay, super guarding was my only way of taking him out, to be fair, so... That worked out. Isn't Mario? Shiny mustache or no, you can't be too bright if you came here looking for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know why? Because we were waiting for you. Uh huh, I remember. They're the ones with. Hey, wait a second. What do you mean you've been waiting for Mario? That sounds suspicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have no quarrel with you, but I simply can't allow you to hunt for the crystal stars. So I'll be taking that little map of yours just as soon as I deal with you. Whoa, whoa, scary lady. How do you know about the map and the crystals? Have you talked to Princess Peach or something? Hey, now that I think about it, who are you anyway? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those who seek names are often disappointed, but if you insist, we'll tell you. We are... The three... Shadow Sisters. The three Shadow Sisters?
Vivian, you nincompoop, what are you babbling about? It's just shadows, the three shadows. Sisters make us sound li less mysterious and less scary. How many times must I remind you? Oh, right, sis, I'm sorry. It just makes me really happy when you call me your sister, so... How oh, insufferably sappy. Oh, you've got some fierce punishment coming your way. Oh, gee whiz, I hate being punished. That's for later, though. First, we have to deal with this Mario and his friends. Let's do it, my lovelies. Marilyn, Vivian, the might of the Three Shadows, relation withheld, will be more than enough to win the day. Oh, okay. Gah. Will it now? It's most unlucky that our sights are set on you. Well, unlucky for you, of course. Marilyn, Vivian, let's show them precisely what we can do. Go. Yes, sis. Alright. Here we go. Perfect. Wait, power shell. Ah, you're tougher than I thought, Mr. Mustache. I guess it's time to stop toying with you, hmm? Hit it, Marilyn, now! What are you doing, Vivian? You twit, I'll never forgive you if you lose. S sorry, sis. Ow. Jeez. Ouch. Can't do a special. Now, it's up to you! Ooh. Well... Gotcha. Nice. All right, that went well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, maybe we were just a touch overconfident. Marilyn, Vivian, you lumps. We would have won if you two pulled your weight. Both of you prepare for a world-class punishment session when we get home. <laughs> but the necklace... Leave it! Alright. That's Flurry's necklace! Yes, let's take it to her! Alright. Just gonna ignore enemies for now. Leave me be. I'm just trying to make it back. In peace, I'm gonna buy some stuff from this shop. In this roadside cellar. Hey, 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 oh, I've got all the hottest new products right here. Look no further. No, uh, let's say. Three honey syrups. And three. Mushrooms. Alright. Thank you so very much. You got yourself a good deal there, kid. I kid you not. You are set for the future with that item, my man. Come back real soon. Jeez. Wow. 
All right. Wait. Right here. There we go. All right. Got him. All right. Let me just wait. There we go. I keep pressing the wrong trigger. That's a bit of a trend. All right, let's bring the necklace back to Flurry, then I'll save. Oh, poor, poor me. When, when will I see my pre precious necklace again? Oh, you delightful fellow, you found my necklace. I'm beside myself, truly. But you mustn't see me, please. Leave the necklace by the door and wait a moment. Oh, splendid, splendid, my oh-so-ravishing necklace. I'm awash in joy. Um... Oh. <laughs> Out of all of the games on my channel, I did not expect this from Paper Mario. Oh, oh my word! Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, 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 aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed. Why does everyone... I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it, hmm, perhaps, if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Here I come, handsome, time to give you a proper thank you. Pucker up! Oh, Mario, you are just the cutest little thing I've ever laid eyes on. Yes, you are, and that's that. So tell me, are you truly looking for the crystal stars? The very same crystal stars spoken of by all the lowlifes in Rogueport? Hmm, a danger-filled search for beautiful jewels. How absolutely marvelous! And here I was thinking how frightfully bored I was. It's time for a change. And besides, I do declare, that plush mustache of yours has completely swooned me. A man as manly as you must attract all sorts of trouble, and I want to keep you safe. So I dare say I'll be joining you on this little adventure. I assume that's fine, Mario. Okay. Okay. Oh. All right. I've mastered them. All right. It is wonderful. It's so nice that Flurry likes you, Mario. Really, it's great. Even more importantly, Flurry's chosen to join us. Let's go to the Great Tree. So that's how I get rid of all of those uh, little paper edges. All right. Well, that's about it for today, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. My depth perception isn't great. All right. See you guys in the next one. Bye.